I'm here with Dr. Bear. Nice to meet you, Dr. Bear. It's good to meet you too, Malcolm. Thanks for coming to my lab. We're going to tell you a little bit about what we're doing to find new drugs and treatments for CF. So cystic fibrosis, you know all about that. It's, um, it's a genetic disease and it means that there's a gene in your body which is not normal and it makes a, a protein which is not normal and that protein is called uh, CFTR. CF. Exactly. Which I have. Which you <laughs> have, so you know. You need a normal CFTR um, because it, it regulates how much liquid you have bathing your airways. The airway liquid is really important in controlling infection. The airway liquid lets these little hair-like structures called cilia beat. And when they beat, they move the bugs out and they move the, the bugs like bacteria and stuff, they, all of that out of the lung. But if you don't have a nice liquid layer there, those cells can't, those hair cells can't move and it basically um, leads to lots of bugs getting stuck mm. there. And there's some mm -hmm. demonstrations here so you can see what happens if you don't have a normal CFTR. But first, because you're in a lab, you have to be properly dressed. Jeez. So, Why? let's this get you suited here. up. So, this uh, represents the Air, the liquid that is in your in the airways of a person who doesn't have CF. Do you want to stir it around and tell everyone? Is it easy to stir? Is it hard to stir? It's actually very, very easy. And this is the liquid in the airways of a person with CF. And hopefully it'll get a little oh, bit sticky. It's so like putty. So, if you put some bacteria into the healthy lungs, and you can put some bacteria into the CF lung, it sticks. It doesn't move around. So that's how it will never get out unless if you get healthy. Try uh, moving the bacteria around in the healthy lung with the cilia. See, it's pretty it easy to move. This is for the CF one. It has rainbow cilia. All right, so try. Yeah, it's like they're getting nowhere. Exactly. So that's part of the reason why people who have cystic fibrosis tend to get sick a lot more than people who don't. Very cool demonstration. Okay, MJ, I want to introduce you to Chris Flatt. So Chris is the manager of this huge facility for drug testing at Sick Kids. Hi, Chris. Hi, MJ. How are you? I am good. How big? is this robot because i've been hearing this is a big robot but i don't know it's this big yeah it's almost the size of a small room isn't it what this robot does is it lets us test thousands of different drugs uh, for cystic fibrosis so what would take a person hours and hours and days to do by hand the robot can do much more efficiently and much more quickly would you like to see it move oh yes if you just click the button to get that to go, the robot should start to move. Thank you, Chris, for letting me see the robots. You're very welcome. And thank you, Dr. Beer, for letting me do a science experiment. Yeah, you were great. So you're going to have to come back and see us again. I would die. Bye.